Now we'll look at tonight's other top stories, starting with what is now the most expensive congressional primary in American history. Democrats in New York went to the polls today to vote in a race that has become symbolic of divisions in the party. CBS's Scott McFarlane is at a polling place in New Rochelle. $25 million have flooded into this bitterly divided primary, in part because it's a political proxy war over the war in Gaza. Two-term progressive Jamal Bowman has called Prime Minister Netanyahu a maniac who needs to be removed for carrying out a genocide. His challenger, Westchester County Executive George Latimer, has received millions from pro-Israel political groups. The uh, issue of the Middle East is very high. We have a large Jewish population here. Bowman says Latimer is beholden to rich donors. Send a working class person back to Congress. But Bowman's been dogged by controversy, pleading guilty to pulling a Capitol Hill fire alarm during votes last year. Now to the desperate search for nearly a dozen people still missing after raging wildfires swept through southern New Mexico last week. CBS's Omar Villafranca reports residents have been allowed to go home for the first time, but the hardest hit areas remain off limits. The flames from last week's South Fork and Salt Fires near Ruidoso, New Mexico, destroyed more than 1,400 buildings, roughly half of them houses. The South Fork fire is more than 50% contained. The Salt Fire is almost 40% contained. And more than 1,000 fire crews and personnel are working to put out the hot spots. Some residents were allowed to return to their property on Monday to see what remained. And an alarming scene in Kenya today as police fired on protesters trying to storm parliament after a bill was passed that raises taxes. At least five people are dead and more than 30 were injured. CBS's Adriana Diaz has more. Police used tear gas and bullets to try to contain the chaos in Kenya today. Demonstrators across the East African country and U.S. ally stormed parliament, setting the building on fire as they protested a bill that would raise taxes. The U.S. is watching closely. Here at the State Department, officials say they condemn the violence and are calling for restraint. Kenyan President William Ruto says he'll prevent protests from reoccurring at whatever cost. And thanks to our CBS News teams across the country.